friends welcome back to my channel and today is a very 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 special day because today is the day that I got my package from Anna of course before I get started I do have my disclaimers first up you're hearing them in the background I do live near a major highway here in the country of Belize and you will hear those motor vehicles as they passed I also live out of the city and I do have a lot of wildlife in my background so you will hear primarily birds calling chirping crying in my background and thirdly I have dogs right now they should be asleep but if something comes near the house and start something comes near the house you will hear them bark so now let's get back to our regular schedule program Okay, so Anna and I are doing a second collaboration and this time around we are sending each other art supplies, mystery art supplies. Now Anna had previously received her package from me and I will link her video in the description below so don't go, so please go and check her out. It's Anna's drawing channel, okay? And there will be a link to her channel and that video in the description below. And this is Anna's package to me. Now you'd have to excuse me if I cover up the front of the package for privacy reasons. Pri pri privacy, I hope I said it correct, privacy reasons. And um, let's get into it. Okay, so I don't know what Anna sent to me. Um, if you can see here, I have my washi tape and my watercolor paper set aside. I also have my drawing book that can take both coloring pencils and markers here because I don't know what Anna sent to me. And so I'm all prepped for whatever it is. I also have my drawing bag here so I could get into that illustration. I am super excited to get into this. So now let's get into this. Okay. Let's uh, see. It's a very big box. The first thing I have to say, it's a very, very big envelope. It can't even fit on the entire screen how big it is. See? It's very big. Everything is covered up. And let's see. I, I didn't open this, okay? Just for the record, I didn't open this. It's when I went to pick it up at Customs. They're the one who had to open it to check inside. And... They opened it. I told them I don't want to see what's in it, so I closed my eyes and they opened it and said, okay, it looks good. And they just put it like this back and give it to me. So I still don't know what is inside. Okay, let's see what's here. Wait, okay. I feel something, so I'm just pulling out. Okay, oh wow. Oh gosh, I, okay. It's. Oh, there's a car here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me put these aside here. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Okay, it seems to be empty. Oh wow. This is super. I don't know what these are. But she did send me a beautiful... Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Look at that. She sent me some handmade... Oh my gosh, I love this. I really, really do. And she sent me a beautiful little greeting card. Oh. oh, I'll definitely be reading these later and I'll be putting this into my, where I keep all my precious drawings. Thank you so much, Anna. I love this. Oh gosh, this is beautiful. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. I'll, I think I'll go with the blue one first. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. It's a mermaid tail. Okay, so apparently I have a mermaid tail. Okay. So I will be doing it. So I guess Anna wants me to do an illustration on a mermaid tail sketchbook and it has lots and lots of pages oh my goodness this is super ah the rules 
are. Let me guys give you a hint, heads up of what the rules are. Okay. Uh, the rules of Anna and I's collaboration is that we were going to send each other mystery art supplies. And then we will create an illustration based on those art supplies or with those art supplies we sent each other. So Anna sent me a mermaid tail sketchbook, so my illustration is going to go into a mermaid tail sketchbook, and I have no ideas yet. So I'm going to be setting this aside, and I love this. Ooh, You know that she has the primaries, you know, the red, yellow, and blue? That is so nice. Well, it's not actually red because this is actually pink, but it's still, this is really sweet. She has the primaries. Okay, I have another package here. Oh gosh. <laughs> Whew, Crayola coloring pencils. So I have a mermaid tail sketchbook and she sent me a pack of Crayola coloring pencils. Three sharpened. Hmm. I'm almost scared to see what this third package is I don't know why I get so scared sometimes but anyway don't want to rip don't want to rip please don't rip oh gosh don't rip man come on come out easy come out easy oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh thank you Ugh. She really glued this, stick this one down good. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what this one is. Oh, unicorn stickers. Oh, wow. And some unicorn erasers. Oh my goodness. So she got me some unicorn stickers and some unicorn erasers and a mermaid tail sketchbook. Okay guys, I'll need a minute. And in the next take, you'll s we will start looking at some ideas. Okay, so I guess I won't be needing these washi tape I didn't know if it was watercolor she paint she got me two paint I didn't know what she got me so I just got prepared for everything so since I won't be needing these let me put these to the side and don't have my area look junky and uh, we'll be looking at all these art supplies now let's take a closer look at these art supplies Anna sent me. Okay, it's a, I guess it's a mermaid tail or fish tail sketchbook from Creatology. And it says notepad at the end of it. It doesn't say how much pages it has, but it does have a lot of pages. You can see it's nice and thick and uh, it's, kind of glittery on the front of it but it's kind of glitter I like the one that the one that doesn't rub off and uh, inside the sketchbook there is a uh, scales and uh, the paper is like standard drawing paper so I'll be having some fun with this just when I was actually just Today I went into the city and I said, you know what, I need to find a little sketchbook, something I could take with me on the road and do some thumbnails in. I think this is perfect for that. And uh, the unicorn stickers, I just took a closer look at them and uh, I just took a closer look at them and uh, it has a, a scratch and sniff here. Mmm. That's just that's really nice. It's, it's a scratch and it actually smells like a look like it smells like cotton candy. That's really really nice. And it is cotton candy the unicorn is eating. Oh my goodness. And uh, 
these unicorn. Let me grab my utility knife. I just had it a moment ago. Uh, kids, if you're under the age, if you're under age, please do not just grab a utility knife. Always use sharp objects, especially if you're under 12, always use sharp objects yeah, under the supervision of a responsible adult. Okay, I don't wanna just tear it open, so. I'm gonna be just putting a little cross section here. Yeah, right about there. So I just don't tear it open. I know, right? I'll be back. Okay, I'm o I have opened it. I wasn't sure if it's going to just you know, flip out and just go all over the place, so I didn't want to just open it like that and oh, it turns. I was looking at the design of it and look, it turns. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my goodness, the head turns. Oh gosh. Oh, sorry. I decapitate the unicorn. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to decapitate you. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And the unicorns match the sketchbook. Except for you, you don't match the sketchbook, but that's why I like you. You stand out, so you're supposed to be in the front. Okay. And it's all, in, see I didn't just rip through it. So that's really nice too. Oh, they don't have any scent to them. I guess it's only this sticker. And now it's time to go and look at the coloring pencils. So let me show you how these unicorn looks. Cause I'm looking at them, but I'm sure you guys are not seeing them. And I'll use the back of this board here and show you how they look. You see, aren't these the cutest little things? That's the odd one out. And that's why I like him. Cause he looks like the leader. And this is the one I accidentally decapitated. Aren't they the cutest little things? This is the unicorn sticker. And now let's see these pencils. Okay, so I could put these here. These are Crayola coloring pencils and a uh, Regular Crayola coloring pencils, pre-sharpened, of course. Twelve colors in this set. They're not watercolor. I guess they're just the regular Crayola coloring pencils. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the colors we have here are white, brown, red, orange, red orange or like we like to call vermilion, yellow green, yellow, blue, green, black, violet or purple, and we have sky blue. Okay, I'll be swatching these out. Even though the paper is white, I still wanna see if the paper, it kinda seems off white to me. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Remember, I'm a responsible adult. <laughs> this is the black. And uh, let's speed this up. This paper does take the coloring pencil. Okay, it doesn't have too much indentation on this side. So it's pretty good paper. And uh, I think now is the time I will need a minute 
to check out what I want to draw on my mermaid sketchbook. I do have my eraser, my needable eraser, my pencil, and my trijet eraser handy. So uh, let me start thumbnailing some ideas and see what we can come up with. Because we do have a good collection here. We have an entire set of coloring pencils. So we do have a good collection. So now let's see what I can thumbnail. Okay, guys, I did do some rough sketches on this page here. I'm not sure if you can see them, but they're just really rough sketches of my idea. And I really want to use the advantage of the shape of this sketchbook, the unusual shape of this sketchbook, to do my ideas. Hmm. Now, I was thinking of something else. That would be weird. I can't do it. I wish I could. But I'm thinking of doing an underwater theme. So now let's hop to it. I just got an idea, but the ears here is too big and the face here is too small. But let me do my underwater theme and uh, let's hop to it. Okay, I'm all lined up and I made one little boo-boo is this little indentation here, right here. While I was erasing, it kind of got away from me and the paper creased a little bit, but I don't think that will bother me. I have my illustration all finished. I did an undersea theme. So I have a couple fishes, I have a little unicorn and a little mermaid. And so now I'm going to be doing my coloring with these Crayola coloring pencils. So let's hop to it.
that's it i am finished i i just wanted to do an underwater themed kind of drawing because of the mermaid fins i think it's beautiful i like it. i'm just filling in some stuff to see well if it can take it and yes it can just putting some fishes in the background it's gonna help it a little bit i think and I try my best to use all the colors that Anna had provided. I think it's amazing. I, the only color I didn't use, I think it was the brown. I didn't use the brown. But other than that, I think I used, and the white. I didn't need to use the white. But other than that, I think I've tried to use all the colors because the little unicorn in the driver's seat here for my little submarine is actually has a purple horn. So I used a bit of purple. I used the stickers on the submarine. I have my little mermaid who is very colorful. I color her skin green since I don't have any skin tones. And I didn't want to go to the trouble of mixing. I'm a little tired from work. I know, right? I'm just putting in some fishies because I think they're cute and I like them. And I'm just putting in some little fishies here and there. Because I think they're so cute. And uh, let me finish up my touches on these. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. Thank you, Anna, for all these art supplies. I've never thought of incorporating stickers into art. And I've never thought in my wildest dreams I will be drawing on a t fish tail. And I even have another idea. So thank you so much. I plan to be very creative with this book. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And I'll see you in the next one. No, in the next one. Bye.